Hi, this is Rita Teresa with One Inspiring Woman, and today we're talking about balance. That's right, today we're really talking about balance in our life. And one of the things I think is really interesting is to really find balance in your life, you have to find balance within you to balance the rest of your life. So if you're in balance with what's going on with your work, your kids, your spouse, your family members, your mom, your dad, whatever it is, whatever your, your world encompasses, if you're in balance, everybody else can get in balance. You're the leader of the tribe. You're the leader of the group. Male or female, it doesn't matter. You're the leader. And then once you kind of balance with the other leaders um, in your group, it actually really makes it so much easier. Once you find your true balance in what's going on in your life, everything else falls into place. So once you find your balance and then you get into balance with everybody else, your life really gets easier. It really does. And there are always things that pop up. There's always things that kind of come across of kind of like, um, this doesn't work for me or this doesn't work this way or whatever it is. That's okay. It happens. It totally happens. And the cool part is though, is when you get out of balance and you've been in balance, then it's like an easy correction boop, and we're back into balance again. Yay. Here we find balance again. So that's kind of the weird quirky part and kind of the weird fun part at the same time is if you stay in balance, if you stay centered, if you stay relaxed in what's going on as much as you can, try not to get too stressed about all the stuff, but just one or two things, it makes life so much easier. It makes life um, much easier balance, not only for you, but your family as well. And once you realize you're the key component that's missing, it really falls into place. Um, I've dealt with so many people over the last uh, probably two to three weeks or so of people just trying to find that balance. And I know with um, so many planets in retrograde, with so much energy in the world, things are kind of flipping and changing. And it's kind of like, how do we deal with all of this? Stay in balance. Figure out what you want to do or how you want um, the next steps to go. And then push your energy into that and everything else will fall into place. I promise you everything else will kind of fall into place. Um, it may not be 100% easy, but it will be 100% okay. Um, and really don't sweat the small stuff. And a lot of it is really small stuff. Um, it's one of those, if you're with someone who, um, or if you yourself are a stressing person, like you stress all the time, sometimes we get addicted to that stress level. We get so addicted to um, the stress in our lives and kind of like, this is going wrong and 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 this is going wrong. And, going wrong. and we kind of forget that we need to find a balance. We need to find something that will de-stress us or make us feel better or relax us. Um, and sometimes just even calling on help. So many times I've had people um, offer me help or assistance with something and I'm kind of like, eh, no, no, I got this. And then I realize later on, like, I should have said yes. I should have been saying yes to that help. I should have been saying, yes, I appreciate your help. Um, what's your forte? What would you like to help me with? And that changes everything, just literally changes everything of just being, um, willing to change or willing to take um, uh, assistance from other people can be a life changer. Not only for us, but the people around us, the people in our lives, the people in our world can be such an amazing thing to be um, unstressed and allowing other people because when we allow other people to help us, it gets us back into balance and maybe take a couple of things off our plate, but it also allows us to kind of let that person be a part of our lives. It really does. So many times people are like, oh, I don't really need the help. You probably do. If they're offering it, take it to the, to, to what they were offering you to. You know what I'm saying? Hey, let me help you chop this up. Or hey, let me help you with this part. Or hey, let me do this part. That's great. And that can really help you. Um, I think that most people don't um, kind of really expect their spouse to help them as much as their spouse could or should, or even their kids. Um, I know so many clients and their kids are teenagers and their kids don't clean up their own room or uh, do their own laundry or whatever else. And it's like that child should be learning how to kind of help the family. Um, so they learn how to be a part of what's going on. And that can take a few things off your plate as well so that they can be 
part of the solution and making them feel a part of the family as well. So many times when people go, no, 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 I really don't require this or I really don't require this assistance at this time, it's one of those, they usually regret it. I know I do. And a lot of times you should be asking your family to be the support that they should be for you. So many times um, kids um, should learn how to wash clothes and clean the dishes no matter what sex they are. They should learn how to clean the house. They should learn how to um, mow the yard, male or female, does not matter. They should be able to help with all of that and um, be um, a support system for the family because the family is a team. First off, your family is your team, and they should be all on the same page, and this is what happens, and this is why it happens during this time frame. makes life so much easier and so much more um, encompassing for everybody and makes everybody feel like they're supporting each other or that they are a part of what makes this family work. And because it takes everybody, it takes the village, and the village is your family most important. I thank you for joining me today, and I know that we'll be talking again soon.